With regard specifically to um, uh, the use of my book in the classroom, um, I think for an upper level college course, uh, I think my handbook would be good for doing uh, interpretation or exegesis papers, you, uh, whether the students know Greek and Hebrew or not. Um, I, I think, um, in fact, I, I've taught a course uh, where some students know Greek and Hebrew and some don't, and they've been able to, to use the handbook, uh, I think, with, with, with some uh, value in doing, in doing their exegesis papers. Um, so, again, if you're uh, interpreting a text, maybe there's not a quotation in it, but there might be a couple of allusions, and if they're clear allusions, if you can substantiate that, and I, and I think there are ways to do that, um, then, you know, that's going to enhance the interpretation of your text, and it's, it's going to help you to uh, um, see how Scripture relates to Scripture, not just be atomistic or that is too narrow and looking only at your, your paragraph uh, in the light of the immediate context or even the context of... Uh, of the book. So for seminary students, of course, this is enhanced even more for those who know Greek and Hebrew um, because I, I have a section on uh, how to compare the Masoretic text with the LXX and its variants and um, the New Testament and even the Targum. Uh, and it's very important to see the changes uh, the New Testament author might make, uh, whether with the, uh, from the M from the Hebrew to the Septuagint, or maybe using the Targum, or making their own interpretative paraphrase. But it's very important to compare those texts and, 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 and underline or color code the differences because that does help with the understanding of that text and what that New Testament author is, is trying to do with that, um, with that text. So um, I have a nine-step method, actually, for interpreting an Old Testament quotation or, or an allusion. Uh, and that one whole chapter, it's, it's on the approach, it's called approach to interpreting uh, the old and the new. And uh, that method actually can become, become an outline for your paper if you're doing just an old and the new paper. Uh, it can become the outline for a small section if you're uh, just doing it within an exegesis paper. So um, this is one reason I, I wrote this book. I, I really had a vision that uh, beyond my own students uh, who I'm teaching this method, uh, before I published the book, I wanted to I felt enough students said it was valuable to them, so I wanted to have a wider um, exposure. 